and welcome to Kiss and Cake. Here we go again, yet again. I don't, let me see. It's a new me. Let me see if you can get my hiding grey and new specs. There we go. Right. Moulding. Making your old lace moulds. Okay. I use this. It's silicone plastic. Get it from the Cake Decorating Company. Okay. This is the bigger pot. It cost £24.95. You think, eek! So far, out of the pot, I have made two moulds. Okay. These are thumb cuffs. I've got a few Fifty Shades of Grey cakes coming up and a few other cakers that would like Fifty Shades of Grey cuffs. They're ideal for on toppers or on the cakes. This is one that I made a while back last year. Uh, just had some old lace and pressed it on. See how it goes. Went to the attic room and had a nosy and found a bundle of lace. Victorian and not so Victorian. Edwardian. And this one is like a, a metallic -y one. I can't make out what era that's from. But I like old bits and pieces. As you do. When you get your pot, you end up with two pieces like this. Separate, they're fine. It's when you mix them together is when they activate and you can make your mould. I say, the one that I made earlier, it's flexible. You know, you could pop your cuffs out or anything else that you want to. Depends what you want to make. I'm going to use the whole of it now. And all you have to do is mix the two together. A bit like dough. Plasticine. It's so that you get just the one colour. I could have done it beforehand, but you wouldn't have had the experience. So, I'm doing it in fast speed, as you can tell. I'm speeding myself up. I'm talking. I'm not really honest. <laughs> I'm having a bad five. And as you can see, the fast forward mode has near enough work. It's a bit of a right there. <sighs> Do you know what? I've got muscles like Popeye. Give it a. Oh, it's still a bit there. It, it does. It feels just like plasticine. It's all like sort of. Squidgy smell. Okay. Right. Oh. right. I'm not going to use all of them one part of so I'll make a handcuffs first. Okay, what I tend to find is it's easier to say make it double the thickness of what your cuffs are going to be. Now these have got made in China on, so I'm going to stick them so they haven't got China on them, sort of, and just press it in. Now I found out the hard way, and I've learned from that is, that if you stick it in that way, you don't get them in even. So, if you get something flat, i use the lid off the tub. Well, the inside is, if you pop it in and press it down, or even roll it, if you look through the bottom, see you've got your cuffs. You can just press it in to make sure that you've got your definition. Now what I do is I hate waste. This is excess waste. So I'm going to go with my knife and just sort of chisel a bit off. You're going to go, oh no, you're going to cut your fingers. Knife's blunt. I could drive to London on it bare back. Press it back in. See if you've got any more excess. There you go. And just. Okay, that's that 
worked on. Right, your moulds for your lease. We'll do different ones. Watch it again. You've got about 20 minutes working time with this stuff. So I'm going to roll it out. I'm using my rolling pin with the rings on as per. It says double thickness. Well, this is that thin. Don't particularly matter. Make as long or as wide as you want, but I've only got a little rolling pin. So I shall do it as wide as I possibly can for cupcakes. Let's see. If I stick on the cup, it'll be like that. Okay. Do you notice I like tapping? See, by doing it with your pin, your rings on, it makes it so that it's level. Right. Let's go for it. Put you there. Pull it straight, sort of flatten it in. Now, this is also really good for if you want to do, uh, like you haven't got sugar veil. Karina's showed how to do it cheating. Karina's cupcakes, if you haven't known. Now I'm going to roll this over it. Okay? You've got to leave it now for 20 minutes. Bit of waste, are you? Pizza cutter, you say? Yep. It hates to save waste. So just a quarter of an inch. Don't do straight lines, as you can tell. A wiggly wavy. Take that off. And there off. Right. We'll leave that one because it's got a cure. Got loads of this stuff. If you didn't know, I used to make teddy bears. I used to dress them up and decorate them in Victorian style. Okay, ducky. Let's make another one. Let's make a sausage. You can use this mould making stuff to make absolutely anything that you want. It is amazing stuff. I like Star Wars Lego moulds. One of the ones from school. Her son is into Star Wars Lego and I borrowed some of her Star Wars Lego figures and just crammed them in. You might see them on my page, Kiss Me Cake, I did a cake on it. Ah, oh, amazing. The amount of people that said, oh wow, where did you get them from? I made them. Did they stop you? Silicon plastic. Amazing stuff. Right, let's use this one. This one is Edwardian. If you see it on the edge there, it used to be on a blouse or something, it used to go down the front, all sort of frilly, frilly, frilly posh. Okay, so I'm going to stick it on, like so. It's going to be another 20 minute job, and I'm going to roll it on, that way I'm definitely going to get the impression. It's not going to harm the material at all, it's going to peel off. Right, I've got a little bit of a wastage there, it's not too much, so not, instead of cutting it off too much, I'm going to try and edge it up. Okay. Right, pants at this rate, I'm losing out of working space. Shouldn't spread myself out like best butter. Right, let's try another one. Now, this piece is like a metallic -y bit. And that is so unusual. It's a bit escaped. Let's roll it out. Sausage again. See, these are ideal if you want them to be on a side of cakes. You can sort of rush them. That's a nice word, isn't it? Oh, I am definitely running out of space. Let's move you back. If you fall off, I'll catch it at the other end. In fact, 
add a bit more to you and make it a good one. It is quite a wide one. So, roll it out. It's good because it lifts up. You can do what your little heart desires with it. Pattern again. This silicone plastic is also food grade. Now, I'm going to the big boys now. Big rolling pin. I wish to be a bit wider. So, here we go. As you can see, look at the straight lines. It's a bit like that figure. Believe that and you believe anything. Right. You can, if you want to, make them wider to go to whatever you want. We tend to find that with a lot of your cakes, you only want small amounts. Well, these are quite a longish bit. Tape measure. So, that one is ooh, nine inches by two and a half. That's why men can't park. That's nine inches. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Right, let's pop this on here. It's going to have to be pulled straight, so I'm going to have to use my belly to hold it. I'm going to press it on before we roll it. Well, that's it. I've got to wait now for 20 minutes to 30 minutes for it to cure. If you want to see the results, you can either wait until the next YouTube YouTube tutorial or have a look on my Facebook page at Kiss Me Cake. And if you have a look, like me as well. I'm nearly 5,000, not quite, but I would love to be. Okay? Kiss Me Cake loves and hugs and crumbs. Big loves. <laughs>